If you have been searching for an exquisite extraction shooter for an unbelievably long time, what might possibly even feel like forever, then let me show you why Hunt Showdown has drawn me into its multifaceted experience. After playing every other extraction game on the market, like Escape from Tarkov or The Cycle Frontier, just to name a couple, none of them stack up to the pure quality of Hunt. With a setting in the Louisiana Bayou in 1885, Hunt has an extreme Wild West vibe to it. From monster bounty hunting, extraction style PvEVP to a complete fleshed out battle royale, Hunt covers a range of genres that I did not think was even possible inside one game. So sit back, relax, and let me show you why Hunt Showdown should be exalted among extraction game developers. Now, before we completely shred every other extraction game that's ever existed, let me introduce myself. My name is Magneti, and this is The Mothership, your all-in-one extraction game news source. Let's dig in to Hunt Showdown. Now, I want to start off with a broad spectrum of mechanics. If you're already fairly familiar with Hunt Showdown, you can go ahead and skip this part. So I'm going to talk about the game modes. There's Bounty Hunt, Soul Survivor, and Trials. Now, Bounty Hunt is going to be the main game mode. It will be duos or trios only. The main objective is to discover these little mini objectives that you then activate to eventually discover the location of your bounty. Once you discover the bounty, you kill it and exercise its soul in exchange for tokens, which you can then extract with and exchange for money automatically. Now, all the while you're fighting other bounty hunters who may have already located the bounty before you. Therefore, that would get complicated. Soul Survivor is just like a battle royale. It is just solo mode only. You start out with little to no gear, fight other hunters to find the wellspring or spring well, whatever the fuck it's called. And once you have discovered that, you start earning score by holding it and it goes faster. And eventually when the time runs out, you win. What I meant to say a moment ago was that it goes faster with a kill. So the more players you kill while holding or using the spring well or wellspring, the time will tick down faster. Lastly is trials, and trials are exactly what you might think. They are time trials, or just general trials that you can train in and practice in, etc, etc. Now I want to talk a little bit about the PvPVE or PvEV PV, PV, EV, PVP. Anyways, it is very intense. It is a good mix of complex yet simple or easy, and it is quite rewarding in my personal opinion. And I just want to talk about how intense this game is because you walk around and I'm going to touch on audio and visual and effects and such later, but just walking around in this world, which usually you're not doing, you're usually running quite a bit in this game, is very intense. Just the setting, the sounds, everything going on. There's dogs, ravens or crows, other animals like horses, and there's players and gunfire. And just this Louisiana Bayou Wild West setting makes it very tense just to start with. Now, it's very easy to get past once you get used to it. And by the end of the tutorial, I was already past the setting intensity. However, it doesn't change the fact that one wrong move and you're dead because you step on a branch and now someone shot you in the fucking head game over. I think you're getting what's going on here. Now, it's not so complex that it's hard to understand. It's fairly straightforward FPS, but there is enough complexity to make it interesting and fun. For example, traits. Traits are a huge thing that can make it a little more complex. And again, very rewarding. When you get a kill, it feels amazing. Now, I want to talk a little bit about loot, progression, and death. Things like, you know, when you die, your hunter and your gear will be lost on death unless you are below level 11 in your bloodline. Therefore, you will not lose your hunter upon death. However, you will still lose some of your gear upon death. Now, there is a difference between hunter level and bloodline level. Bloodline level has a maximum of 100, whereas hunter level has a maximum of 50. Now, bloodline level can prestige at level 100, which will reset some of your stats or items, whereas a hunter can only reach level 50. Now, once you have reached bloodline level 11 or higher, you will lose your hunter and all of their gear on death within a match. So, you do get a nice free tutorial period of real matches up until bloodline rank 11, which I do love quite a bit. Now that's it for the game mechanics. Moving into what makes Hunt stand out. Why is this game so incredible and what about it is exalting? Just absolutely phenomenal. 
Now, I talked about it a little bit before, and my first thing I'm going to mention is the overall setting. I mean, come on, it's a Wild West zombie bayou FPS extraction game. If that doesn't get you excited, go the fuck away. I don't want to talk to you, because that is absolutely fucking incredible. Whoever said zombies and cowboys can't be mixed together was a fucking idiot, because this is incredible. Now, of course, it's not exactly zombies, per se, but I mean, it's pretty close. It's close enough for me. And if you didn't want to mix Wild West zombies with an extraction shooter, I can understand that. But this just turned out to be incredible. There's multiple game modes. Like I mentioned earlier, there's the extraction or bounty hunt mode, and there is the battle royale or soul survivor mode which covers a wider genre than you might think because there are a good amount of players that don't necessarily want to play an extraction shooter but want that battle royale experience and there is obviously the opposite spectrum and then there's people in between like myself who like both genres now this caters to both so if you like extraction games you should play hunt showdown if you like battle royales i will admit it's not quite as fleshed out as their extraction mechanics of the game however it is still incredibly fun to play hunt showdown as a battle royale another thing i I want to mention is there's a goddamn tutorial you know what i'm saying there's a goddamn tutorial okay if you've ever played escape from tarkov you'll know what i'm getting at there's no fucking tutorial i love that there is a tutorial and the question here is why is this a standout feature this shouldn't be a standout feature this should be a standard standard feature it's incredible I love it, and it's just great. It's a very decently fleshed out tutorial. I will say it's far from perfect and could definitely use some growth. However, for an extraction game, it is pretty good. Next, there's traits. It's like perks. You get to pick perks for your hunter, and you can pick 15 different traits for an individual hunter, which is absolutely phenomenal. There are 23 unique traits in the game, and that is just absolutely incredible. Just, just phenomenal. I love the idea of traits, and I think it's great. Another reason why Hunt Showdown is great or what makes it stand out is the gear. There is quite a bit of gear, but it's not overwhelming. All of it has a very subtle explanation of what it is. If it's a gun, it's fairly straightforward as to what it does or how it's going to work. Okay, this is the Wild West. It's not that complicated. You don't have to get an M4A1 and just fucking wonder what attachment goes on the muzzle, what barrel to put in the fucking stock hole of the goddamn frame of the magazine into the... Like, it's not that, you know? It's good. The gear, there's a lot of it, but it's not overwhelming. Now, I talked about the environment a little bit already. However, I want to mention that it is absolutely dynamic and interactive. Birds make noises the closer you get to them and fly away if you startle them. Dogs start growling and barking the closer and closer you get to them. If you agitate them, they absolutely lose their fucking mind. You walk up to a horse and it starts whinnying even though it's taking a goddamn nap. You make these wrong movements next to a team and immediately they know where you are. You have to be sneaky in the bayou to get around. I wish there were fucking alligators because I was going to say to get around alligators and that would be incredible but there's not alligators but either way the spatial audio as well is what just makes this game come together in a fascinating way that I've never really seen another FPS do before and if you've been finding this video interesting so far or you want more videos like this from me go ahead and drop a sub down below because I will be creating more extraction game videos specifically on Hunt Showdown in the future now to roll into a couple of things I want you to note down down for yourself, take heed to this. It is much better with friends. Hunt Showdown is way better with friends. Trios is really hard. I would recommend starting with duos. I have won many duos games. However, every trios match I've gone into, I got absolutely good fucking jit on. You know what I'm saying? Just start with duos in my opinion. Trials is also a decent way to get more experience, not in the sense of actual experience experience, but in the sense of in-game hands-on experience. Those are really the three things that I want you to take away from your own personal way to approach the game. Now, I do want to go over some things that I feel as though the game needs work on. Mantling, for example. Unless I am just in utter fucking retard and don't know how to mantle in Hunt Showdown, I believe the mantling needs a little bit of a fix. I believe that running and holding or double tapping space or any sort of sprinting towards an object that you may be able to mantle and continuously sprinting into said object should force an automatic mantle. It shouldn't be that difficult. 
I feel as though I have run into fences for three seconds straight before I could get the mantle to work. But neither here nor there, better MMR or matchmaking. I believe that trios is so difficult because of this. However, I could be wrong. I also am an advocate for the MMR lists option. I think that that should be a selectable option when you are matchmaking or selecting, you know, the game mode you want to play. You should be able to do an MMR lists match, understanding that you may get matched with a teammate who is esports tier level or SpongeBob dying rolling his head on the carpet tier level. Another thing, a better hub or UI for the main menu. I would love to see an interactive home base in Hunt Showdown. However, let's not reach for straws here. That's probably unrealistic. It would be incredible though. Another thing would be to flesh out the tutorial a little more. I did mention that a little bit earlier. Also, I think a practice mode would be absolutely incredible. The tutorial is good, but doesn't quite explain Hunter and other loss on death type things. And uh, as for a practice mode, I believe a bot only mode for the bounty hunter game mode would be really helpful. Something like an offline mode that Tarkov has. However, Tarkov bots are stupid difficult, so that doesn't even matter. So, Hunt Showdown is an absolute shining star. It's far from perfect. It's greater with friends, but it's good without friends. And if there's something you feel as though that I failed to point out, I would love for you to comment down below your thoughts on the game in general or what I may have missed. But other than that, stick around for more Extraction Game news, and we'll talk again real soon. Peace!